So the next technique we'll talk about here is the vertical and the horizontal mattress. These are both typically done with larger needles, like a CT1 needle here and a heavy monofilament. This is O-proline shown here. Loading the needle in the same fashion. Um, you're gonna use these in cases where you're closing high tension incisions. So uh, the outside of the knee or closing a fasciotomy would be common. First, we'll show the vertical mattress. So going relatively near the skin edge to relatively near the skin edge. Okay. Pulling through, leave a little bit of tail initially, about that much is pretty good. And then reload your needle headed the opposite direction that you started. Now here it can be helpful to grab your suture ends, get that out of the way, and then entering just stacked back from that coming in, crossing, you can see it there, coming out. So you can see we've come in and then now out. So near, near, and now far, far. Pulling those ends through. Now getting your nice short end so you can tie this. Just the same instrument tie you were doing before. So two wraps. This will be under a fair amount of tension, so you may want to use that reversing the ends trick pull nice and snug and then you're going to want about six knots with these synthetic monofilaments they tend to walk uh, walk out the knots too so it's three four five and six okay so a pretty good stack of knots particularly with this thick suture Been cutting these ends nice and long so you can find them but you can see, hopefully, that this everts the skin edges. Um, and since you have two full strands going both ways for each knot, uh, the incision is fairly well supported. Kind of divide tension between there, unlikely to tear. And now we'll show the horizontal mattress. So for that, we're gonna go a reasonable distance back from the skin edge, coming out the other side here at about the same distance, so roughly equal. Pulling through, reloading in the other direction, and then instead of going back vertically as we did before, this is a horizontal, so we're taking a horizontal step across, and then coming over. So hopefully you see that we go in here, out here, in here, out here, making a, a little box. And then it's just the same instrument tie as before. So two wraps, pulling taut, and then since we're using the same suture, you also want six knots. So both suture kinds, both the vertical and the horizontal, gives you strong skin eversion, strong resistance to tension, um, and both are useful in those cases like fasciotomy closure where you need to be able to handle that tension.